So here I have created an assignment for the student. This here is the teacher's view. I'm logged in as John Smith. I can see that the view grade all submissions. There's no drafts and no submissions yet. There's only one participant, so only one student here. So I'm gonna switch over now to the student view. This is a student view and I'm logged in as Arthur Doyle. Here you can see the instructions, the submission status, and the grading status not graded, because I haven't done anything yet. So here we go, I'm gonna edit my submission. So here we have the online text option. So I'm gonna put in some text here. And down here I have file submissions. So I can either add, create a folder, or I can now drag and drop files. So what I'm gonna do, I've got a folder over here, hidden off screen, I wanna drag a PDF document up. Now that's quite cool. So there we have my online text, and I've added in a PDF document as requested. I'm gonna save changes. So now I can see that it's still a draft because I haven't fully confirmed it. So here are some text I put in and the PDF document. Also, there's no comments here, but I could add a comment now, which I will. I could also now edit my submission or I can finally submit. So in this case, I'm going to finally submit. And there we go. My assignment is submitted. So I'm gonna switch back to the teacher view now. So here we go, I'm back as a teacher. I can see there has been one submission. So let's view all submissions. So here I have the submission screen for the assignments. I can see here there's one submitted from Arthur Doyle, what time it was. Here's the file, here's a comment that he put in, and I can read the comments as well. I can also see that grading and my feedback aren't in there, so let's go and have a look at that. So I can just click here to grade. This now brings up the submission. So let's have a look. Okay, there's the documents, his comments, grade. Let's give him 50 and give him some feedback on the com for comments. So here also, if I wanted to, I can drag and drop up a file, which is my response to the student. So I'm going to do that as well. Now I have my feedback document uploaded. I'm going to save changes. And there we have submitted for grading. It is, has a grade and all of the various parts are showing up now. And also, if I want to, if there was a lot of submissions, I'd be able to now lock all the submissions or even revert them back into draft status so they can resubmit them again. And of course, if there's a lot of submissions, you may want to download them all. And there's an option here to do so as well. And this downloads them in a zip file. So that's it. That's a quick look through the new activity for assignment in Moodle 2.3.